Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. This is Fishman Log number 141. And one of the first things I want to get to today is setting this up. Before I get to that, I had a question last week wondering how I was going to feed the little guys when they're in here. And this is as simple as that is. Just tilt it back, put the food in. I didn't want to cut any holes. As you see, there's lots of wonderful splashing. It's going to keep the humidity really nice and high in there. And also because of all the splashing, I didn't want to lose uh, too much water. It's not a large tank. And uh, this way it keeps everything uh, nice and stable. So I'm going to take this off for now because it's time to put some plants in here. Now I have lots of plants I grow. And, well, there are, I have certain ones I really would want to put in here. And I'm going to start off with that for sure. Uh, one of the ones I like the most, of course, is uh, Java Fern. It does really well in the high humidity planters. But there's all sorts of other stuff I want to put in here. Unfortunately, uh, it is small. So I'm going to start off with a fern, and I'm going to put a few other things. Some of the red Luigia, as you'll notice in some of the tanks in the bottom row, on um, well, the rack that's behind me right now, have been growing out of the tank. And, well, they, they grow really well. But I wanted to try and see how well they're going to grow up out of this. So that's one of the other plants I want to put in here. I'm just going to put a few sprigs at the bottom. And we're going to watch it, and hopefully in time it'll start to grow up and out of the water. And it's going to probably loop over this. Uh, I'm really not sure. I'm not going to really, you know, spend too much time coaxing things to go where I want them to go. But I want to keep it looking rel relatively nice, and we're going to see how it grows. It's, you know, I know the high humidity planters work really well. I've never had any issues with any of them. Uh, it's just a simple matter of, you know, because this is a desktop you know, pseudo display tank, uh, I will keep it a little bit more pruned uh, than the high humidity planters, which are basically just filters, so I don't really pay too much attention to them. Uh, this is going to be hopefully a little bit different, as long as, of course, I find the time to do all this stuff. I mean, I have so many plants to prune. That was part of what uh, got this going today. I needed to, uh, one whole rack, I just tore tons of plants out of it and that gave me of course a bunch of plants for this and gave the fish that were in those tanks a lot more room and it's the, my most time consuming thing uh, I don't really spend a lot of time cleaning filters because they're all relatively you know straightforward for maintenance water changes are as automated as you can get without actually you know having uh, automatic fill ups uh, the draining is always automatic and in the number of videos I've done on that already, you've seen how uh, really quick that is. The thing that takes the most time is pruning. Uh, the plants just grow and grow. And I don't add any fertilizers, as many people have asked over uh, many, many videos. Uh, no root tabs, no nothing. The only thing that I do, of course, is I do have uh, small planter pots that have some soil in it and a, a gravel cap. Uh, that is the only fertilizer for all intents and purposes uh, that gets into any of my tanks. And uh, there's most of them have at least one of those, so uh, that does cover that base, I guess, uh, as far as that goes. So there you go. I just got to stick a few sprigs around here. I don't want to put too much in here to start off with. Uh, I do want to put a piece of driftwood in here and a few different types of plants. And again, I want to keep this a little bit different than some of the other uh, tanks I do. I, like I said, this was originally supposed to have been uh, my answer to COVID, which was to give people, especially those working at home, uh, a chance to have a small display tank. And it didn't really work out that well because, uh, well, it just gets to the point where it's difficult to uh, get in and do these sorts of things and then come up with a price that people are happy with and uh, I mean, as you can see, a fair amount of goes into one of these, but most people don't want to spend that kind of money on something. So it's it really, in the end, is not worth it for me, and uh, not very many people were interested in spending any amount of money on this. So anyway, uh, that aside, um, it goes together relatively quickly. For some reason, I decided to put uh, some pearl weed in here as well it has a tendency to really grow fast <laughs> it does take over uh, i may end up having to pull it out we'll, we'll just we'll keep an eye on it we'll see how that goes uh, java fern grows slow enough that's not a problem red luigi is pretty fast but uh, again it doesn't really take over 
So, we'll see. This is the piece of driftwood I could find that is small enough. I don't build things uh, in general uh, that's this size, so a lot of the driftwood I have is quite large, uh, you know, for tanks that are in measured in four, five, six, all the way up to fourteen feet. So uh, a piece like this is pretty useless in that, but it's almost way you know too big for here. So this is pretty much getting uh, down here to the end of it here. Uh, this is a start. I want to let it percolate for a little while. I'm going to put the lid back on, uh, put the filtration system back together, and I'm going to net out just a handful of guppies out of the pond to the right, and I'm going to put them in here, and just let everything get going for a week or two, and then what I'm going to do most likely is put specific fish in here. I want to put in uh, probably going to be guppies because uh, they are more than at home in something this size and we'll do quite well in here and uh, I just want to maybe pick a few that I want to to have breed so we'll see how that uh, turns out so these are I just took a net full uh, I think I only ended up with one female by the looks of it uh, but this is just to get it going uh, we'll get it uh, percolating and uh, nice and stable and then uh, we'll do something a little bit different we'll see uh, suggestions are always welcome by the way uh, not to the point of going out and buying new fish, uh, just uh, stuff that I have in the fish room will be fine, thanks. Uh, one of the big prunes I did was on this tank, uh, you're going to see the front of it here in a second, because I was looking for the coolie loaches, because I hadn't seen them in quite a while. But they're in there, uh, they're doing fine. They're, the problem is when they get so overgrown, you just don't ever see them, they're just hiding amongst the plants all the time. So that's that mess there, uh, it will all settle down of course. As you can see, this tank and the one to the right really got pruned back. I took a ton of plants out of here, and also with the platies, I also took out uh, about eight or nine of them and put them in another aquarium uh, just to thin them out a little bit because they were getting a little overcrowded as well. I do want to thin these as well, uh, but I need to set up a couple more tanks. Uh, I got some lovely guppies in some of these, and I do want to set up more breeding groups. Uh, which brings me to the end tank here, which is what I did with that. I found a, a male that I liked, and he's in here, and he's got a harem. Harem's hiding in the back, uh, so he's going to go in here and uh, do some breeding for me, so uh, get a little bit of him. Like I said, I don't do much line breeding, but every now and then I find a lovely fish, and it's nice to... Uh, breed them, and that's uh, basically the end of that. There are, of course, a bunch of shrimp in there, but they just don't seem to thrive as much as these guys do. Uh, so what I might do when I set up a second colony of uh, Bushino's Plecos, I might put them down in there and see, because these guys do so well in here. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Leave comments, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.